Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more A Hat in Time. In the last episode, we went on the Arctic cruise for the first time, got ourselves a new timepiece, and got ourselves a, a already completed relic, which I honestly wasn't expecting to get already. We got a lot of like little things in this uh, in this bathroom we can look at as well. Well, the, the two things that stick out for, to me the most are the seal uh, laundry detergent and uh, the hat you wear when you're parading the owls around in the in the uh, the movie setting. Or was it, yeah, it was owls. For some reason, I thought it was penguins, but I don't think the penguins actually do anything in that. Anyway, now that we've got all that settled, we're jumping back into the Arctic cruise, completing Bon Voyage, and starting up ship shape. But we also have a new time rift in added to the mix here. And this one is at the beginning. We can do this one now, actually. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, we I believe we can access it through Bon Voyage since this since this time rift appears to be at port. I I can't get over the baby seals. Okay, let's go. Also, I really want to. Oh my god! I forgot. I didn't even realize this was written in Cran. Welcome of of Ro of Roa. I think it's supposed to say welcome aboard. Are we ready to sail? <laughs> <laughs> I love that cutscene. Oh, it's so good. All right. So the time rift appeared to be at the base of a ship about to board. So I'm assuming it's this one over here. Yep, there it is. There's the electric octopuses again. Get rid of those and jump on in. What is it? <laughs> Time rift, deep sea. So, as you recall from the main game, the purple time rifts jet. Je uh, I tried to mix generally and tend to. Gentuary, uh, have, uh, story elements to them. So for example, I'm over here, bam, we've got one out of nine of the storybook pages. So we need to keep our eyes peeled for all of those. And considering there's nine, that probably means there's gonna be a bunch in each area, or there's gonna be at least two in each area we come up to. Aside from this one, considering it's the open, uh, opening area. I do wish, however, that you had the ability to look around a touch better. The only thing that Y does is make you look up, so... Uh, we're gonna have to keep our, our eyes peeled and our peepers sore in order to be able to find them all. Alright. That bubble looks suspicious. I heard something. Something went like, wiggle wiggle! Oh, it was probably that crab. This requires two of those crown ponds. This- this area is huge! Okay, hold on. Let's- let's start making our moves, shall we? Oh no! Oh, man. Okay, good. The platform does come back. Jump- oh, There we go! Yeah! Yes! All right, that's one of the ponds, but probably gonna look around a little bit for the, uh... Okay, just had to make sure it was that button. Okay, all right, that's gonna be... All right, so there's that. Let me grab this first. Okay, all right, I almost screwed that up. Hardcore. All right, we got another storybook page, so that's good. Oh boy, okay, cool. Neat, 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 okay. And up, there we go. This is pretty challenging. I thought these starfish were gonna be like the cookies in the, uh, in the, the, uh, clock towers under the sea time rifts. Also, interesting. There's another heart pond there, but I'm, and I'm gonna grab it, obviously, but I'm not gonna use it to go into the thing yet. I see more stuff over there. Possibly more heart ponds. Or not heart ponds, uh, crown ponds. What are they called, like, royal ponds or something like that? 
Edo pun. Ooh, that was close. Oh, okay, that's solid ground right there. Okay, yeah, we're fine. I'm gonna say that there's probably at least one more of those uh, storybook pages in here before moving on. Also, there's still an entire section of this that I haven't explored yet, so... We're good. Oh, wait. Haha! -ha! What a way to hide it inside the inside the 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 sunken castle. Oops. <coughs> All right, let us go find us the things and seal the deal. Ah! Dive, dive. Next time, dive. If I die in the first area, that'd just be embarrassing. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool mountain. Oh god, thieves! Ah oh, no! What a... What a jerk. Damnable cat thieves. There's more to explore and I shall do it! I need to be careful. There's that cat burglar! Don't touch the spikes! Okay. Uh-oh. Something threw something at me. Oh god, the pet- the owls! Ah. Oh. Okay, I've never done anything to you despicable owls! Who do you think you're messing with? Do you think you're messing with? Ha! <laughs> the puns start coming and they don't stop coming. I wonder what the point of of uh lining the bottom bits. Oh man. Okay, I wonder what the point of, the, of lining the bottom bits with uh with urchins was. I'm trying getting all the way up here. Cause this seems rife to having like some kind of bonus to it or something. God, I'm uh, like, one of the things with like platforming games is like, I don't know, like certain things are more or less like judged by their limitations. So for example, I think there's something down here. There probably isn't. I'd like to think there is though. Yeah, there's nothing down here. And it looks like there might be something down there. So my instinct is like, okay, go explore it because there's the possibility that something is gonna be down there, but there wasn't, so. Oh well. I really hope I find, uh, all the pages, uh, around here, because if not, I'm gonna have to do all this over again and try to find where it is. Some people have already gotten the Seal the Deal DLC early. Oh, it's the- yep, okay. Oh, it's those guys. Uh-oh. I didn't think I was gonna make that. Alright, uh... Oh, I need... I need Potion Master. Potion Seller, I need your strongest potions. There we go. And then she switches hats and she's like, My potions are too powerful for a man, let alone a... Uh, or too powerful for a dragon, let alone a man. Potion Seller, please! Alright, uh... There we go. What are you? The hitbox in the urchin seems to be closely, uh, close to the center of it instead of, like, actually on the urchin itself. I like the theme here of, like, uh, of doing wall jumps onto platforms that collapse. Because that's a pretty neat theme. Uh, I guess I've got to go this way. Whoop! All right. This is oh, but oh, I guess I <laughs> I'm like, but how though? And then it's like, oh wait, I can jump over the fire. Did you know that? That's a. Did you know about the hidden technique that was un unknown to anybody for the longest time that you could jump over the fire? I like using the D pad to swap hats. 
there's a pond down there. I'm trying to see if I see anything else. Okay, well, this brings us to the next area here. That is where we just were, so I might as well try going the other two directions to see if I can find anything else. We're at four story per pages right now. Ow! Annoying birds? I'm not the great Leon, so. Oh, Lordy Lou! I need the mask. Okay, and then. There we go, there's a pond right there. Is this just a fat? I think this is just a fast exit. Alright, and with that fast exit, that's two ponds down. I think there's probably only one more around here. But, I feel like there might be more. Ow! Oh, Lord! Shoot! A Dorkin! I really need to find, uh... Some health here before... I die. I see health. And it also happens to be in the direction that I need to go. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Phew, I took the long way around that so I can get the health. But you know what? It all worked out in the end. Except that, that doesn't seem to be working out for anybody. Not for me, not the urchins. With birds. Alright, jump! Oh no, 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 no! No! Back down to one health. Hopefully I can find some healing ponds around here soon. Let's yeah. have to start this in the beginning! I'm really gonna look for some healing ponds at this point. Cause... I don't wanna have to start this over. None around here. These new time rifts are- Oh, there's one up there! Uh, the question, though, is... How do I get up there? I see a way up there. Alright, let's go over here, jump up. And... Jump, jump, heart. Thank goodness. Uh, I've sort of lost track of the direction I was supposed to go in. I believe it was this way. Uh, I'm curious. There's probably nothing up there, but I'm curious nonetheless. Alright, don't jump into that yet. One, two, three. I'm at the top, and there's nothing up here just as I thought. Okay. Curiosa and curiosa. No more heart pond. The, the heart pond doesn't respawn when you fall through, so... At least I got two hits left to me. I can't believe how many hits I, like, I took that were just that deadly. Okay, let's try this instead. There we go, shortcut. Anything I'm missing over there? Nothing that- nothing that appears apparent to me. The hook is a little bit like touch and go for me ever since the, uh... That one thing. Okay, I didn't find any more storybook pages around here. And knowing- oh, Knowing this game, there probably is one or something around here. Alright, hold on. I want to... And... Yup! 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 Oh my god! Ha! Oh my god! I was right! I'm really glad in this game your shadow appears like appears below you, like no matter where you are, no matter where the lighting is. Because that's a really good indicator. That's a really good, like that's a realistic indicator, I should say, of like where you're going to end up landing. I say realistic kind of in a in like it, it's always assumed that the sun is overhead in that case, but it's like it's better than just having like a, a dot on the ground, you know? Alright. One of these is probably gonna have three in them now that I think about it. Don't have enough ponds to open up quite yet, but we're gonna keep on moving here. If I happen to miss one, then I- then the only thing I can do is go back and just try to find all of them. There's a hook there. This one seems a lot more open-ended than the three paths we were just on before. 
Alright, let's see. Uh, I guess that's just for going over there, really. Although, I can get on these ropes, right? Yes. Too much thinkies! Alright, okay, okay, alright, okay, okay. Oh no, it's those guys again. Hark! The Dover Boys. Whoops! Get out of here! Yes! Okay, I think I'm right about where the hitbox is on these on these urchins. No wait, the rest of them can have two. Because I've only got- I, I get two in this one, two in the next one, and then that's all of them. I don't think the last one would have one. That was really clever hiding it in the, uh, in the treasure chest there. Although, it does mean that I have to keep my eyes even more peeled. Because there could be some in- in things like treasure chests, like we just discovered in the last part. Yeah. Oh! You stole my hat! Oh my god. And I'm low on hearts again. And that cat still has my hat. No pun intended on that one. Was... Oh my god. There's a king pawn in there. A crown pawn or whatever you want to call it. Again, keeping your eyes really peeled there for stuff like that. Uh... Oh, I can't switch hats until I get that back. Oh, and I can't use the grappling hook until I get the hat back, too, which means I'm probably gonna die again! Okay. I wanna- There! There! There we go! Okay, at least I got my hat back now. I really need to look out for heart pawns. I heart pawns. Oh, that's a little shaky. Clang. Ugh. Oh, Lord. Yes, made it. Oh! Oh, I didn't think I was gonna make that first good idea, but I was uh, we're safe. Oh no. Okay. Whoop! Ah, oh, that box could push me off and I don't have any health. Oh man, it's just a it's just a crown pawn. Really not what I need. Okay, clang. I need heart pawns and storybook pages. I've got plenty of pawns already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a storybook page right there. Bad to assume that there's only two per area, but... I mean, it'd be nice. Okay. God, that's such a clench moment right there. They did a really good job on making these, they make, making these areas challenging without making them like frustrating. I thought that was a springboard for a second. My thought initially was like, why would there be a springboard there? And then after I jumped on it and started falling, it's like, oh, it's just a trap. Got it. I missed the baby seals. <laughs> was up there, something did catch my interest. Back here. And... Han? No! There were three storybook pages in this area! Uh, why can't I get up on that? Nope, come out! Grumpy Gurn. Alright, uh... Crumply Gurn, indeed. I think there was like one more area I can get to. Yeah, and I need the hook shot for it. Or the grappling hook. I've been playing too much Ocarina of Time randomizer. Or just the right amount of it because I, I refer to that as the. I don't know. Because I haven't played it in a little while and. Oh! No, this is where I just came from! 
I think I've sweeped this place clean then. Which means, and I hope this is right, that there's one last storybook page in the next area. Alright, let's head over there and check. Kinda hard to tell, considering I just sort of went for a ride there. I just wanna... Oops, ow! I'm gonna make my way back up there. It doesn't hurt to check. It's time consuming. But, a level of progress has been made here, so... Uh, yeah, I think that is the entire area. And it doesn't- yeah, it doesn't wrap around that one. Alright. I think the only, I think this is the only one that actually has a back side to it. He says as he looks at the other one to make sure. Yep, alright. Into the pod! You never know what you're gonna miss in each of these, so... I just wanna make sure. Hello, fire and volcanoes and underwater death. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna avoid that. Oh, Lord. I'm gonna regret this. And by which I mean the fact that I don't have any hearts is gonna regret this. Oh, look at you, huh? Okay. That's not cool. Oh, this is the end area. Okay. Well, that's not really the end area, but this is the area I'm supposed to go to. All right, we're not leaving until we find that that puzzle page book. Puzzle. That that's picture book. Picture book. Picture book. Oh, that was rather close. This is going to be even closer. Rotating stairs. Rotating stairs on lava. I never thought I would have such. Oh my god. So strong feelings for a platforming mechanic, but here we are. It's also incredibly precise. Oh no! All the way back to the beginning. Okay, we're back. We're back here, and I am jumping for my little hat kid life. Oh my god, alright, we made it all the way to the top. Funnily enough, on my way here, I actually found something, uh, rather interesting. So, let's go back down to this area here. Uh... Yep, you know what? There it is! <laughs> That's what I found on my way back there. And it was off that- that other path that I was like, you know what, I'll go this way first, and ended up doing that one instead. Or, ended up doing, uh, this one instead. If I can get up there... There's a heart pond up there. Oh, you know what? On my way back here, I already jumped up there, so... Like, if there was a heart pond up there, it's not there anymore. Uh... You know what? The... Um, the gate's open! I could just grab the, the page and just run. But I wanna see where, where like, all this goes. I wanna, like, experience the entirety of the, of the game. AIM! Oh, 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 I'm gonna jump back over here, because that was scary, and I wasn't prepared. Okay. And one, two, jump three. There we go. Whew. Oh my god. Uh. Oh thank god. I was afraid it was gonna be like the, the first part to seal the deal and I wouldn't be able to, to hit it. Also, the actual heck, actually this isn't so bad. As long as it's going the same speed that I'm running, then uh, I'm not gonna have too much trouble with it. Although this one moving forward is going to have a little bit of trouble in my book. All right, okay, okay, good, cool, cool, amazing. Made it up there with nary a scratch. I was hoping there'd be a heart pond on top of that wall, but there is not. Okay. All oh, there is for this place to offer. And we're almost done with all of it. We just have one more path left to go. Woo! Woo! Okay. Don't hit the urchins. The- the ur urchins- okay. <laughs> Alright. My nervousness, it, it- it begets me. Oh my god, are you serious? 
can you tell what they want me to do here? I want me to do this. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, uh, everything this game has to offer! You know what? I don't want to go through everything again. And that's a really bad spot to be in with one health left. If, I, if there was another heart pond that I could find here, then I'd go through it. I can't, though. I don't want to die. Like, for you guys, it's like, oh my god, that's actually really treacherous. <laughs> jump, jump! Okay, got that. Now I can jump over here. Do I? I've got all the pages. I've got most of the p king pawns. Maybe I can find another heart pawn on the way and I won't have to worry? He said with hope, hope in his voice. And a, and a wavering confidence. Oh my god, I almost didn't even make that jump. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> okay. So, I've tried this three times already, so let's try it again. Oh, okay, cool. I thought that was gonna be a lot harder. So what I initially thought was because I have the thing that recharges the hat faster. I thought what you need to do was once you deactivate the hat, the fir uh, the uh, the spirit mask the first time, you have to ride along the wall until the mask recharges. Then you can jump off uh, onto it and activate it again to get another wall jump. But I got it, so we're good. I'm not even gonna bother with the other two because I, I didn't even uh, try doing those uh, when I got here initially. I also still need to get that that uh, that that storybook page as well. So. Uh, let me go ahead and do that, wherever it may be. Jump, jump, dive, jump. Jump, jump! No dive, just jump. Alright. Okay, I've, I've got two life left here, so I should be able to do this no problem, would be my hope. My dream. My fantasy. And... Alright, I got it. Let's get back into the hole. Let's get into the hole and get the heck out of here. We did it. All the ocean's jewels are mine. Uh, the time rift is getting away. I wonder if uh, it'll uh, break open if I just use the laser. Nope, I think it's, I think it's hit based. I can just hit it twice and it'll blow up. Just hit it twice with the laser. Should have the magnet badge on, honestly. Got all these pawns. Anyway! Oh, I don't know how long this episode's gonna end up being, but I was recording for over an hour. Let's read ourselves a story. Because that's part of my completion process here. Lost at sea. Okay, so... It looks like that walrus, uh, was, like, in school to- to pilot a boat. Graduated top of his class and got his photo signed by his teacher. Uh... Ship assignment. I guess he was going into medical, I suppose? All of his crew are baby seals. He's a little bit nervous by how young they are. Years later... He still has dreams of him and his teacher, uh... Captaining a- captaining a boat when the baby seal brings him a letter. And his mentor, has, uh, his mentor's ship sunk at sea. And now he's just wallowing in, in his, uh, in the sadness that he'll never get to pilot another boat with his, with his hero and his teacher ever again. Mm. Well, that's fine, because we get to get new hat flare! I'm gonna reroll. That's new hat flare! I'm claiming that one! What's that one for? That's for the ice hat. It looks really neat. Like new hair. Anyway, on that somber note, and then the lottery, uh, we are going to end things off here. 
Next time on A Hat in Time, now that we've completed the time rift, learned the sad story of our dear walrus captain there, who I don't think his name is known in-game at this point. We are going to enter back into the Arctic cruise and, uh, yeah. Do a little bit more there. See you all then! Later! Kiss. Kiss.